Hi there, it's Jaya. Hello, how are you? Um, this is just a quick kind of look back at uh, the pencil, the ever important pencil, which is the key tool within our drafting uh, cachet. Uh, I wanted to explain to you that you, of course, have received mechanical pencils to use, and a mechanical pencil holds a small individual lead that is inserted into the pencil. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the hardness and softness and the, what they call the grades of lead, meaning that some leads are softer than other leads. That means that the graphite comes off of the pencil very quickly. It's used for sketching. Um, when you're out in the field with your client, it's a very soft lead and moves around easily on really any kind of paper. However, it is known for its ability to smear because it leaves a lot of graphite on your paper depending on the tooth of your paper. So the deeper the tooth, the more graphite you're gonna have on your paper. That's why we have this brush that we use during drafting so we can wipe away any of those uh, graphite shards or any erased, eraser uh, little nibs that get stuck on the paper. So we wanna always keep a clean paper. Getting back to the grades though, we have hard, medium, and soft grades. The pencils you receive have an HB hardness lead in them. So you can see it's a medium lead. It's heading over to the soft side. So these Bs are softer. As we come up in here, we become harder. Okay, so anything between B and 3H is somewhere where we live in interior design and drafting. So I want you to know that while each pencil has a specific diameter of lead in it, that would refer to the 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.07, that's the lead diameter. We also are able to change the, in, the actual lead itself to the correct, or rather I would say to your preferred hardness or softness of lead while you're working. And really after a while that becomes a personal choice. But since the pencils come with the, the two, um, or the HB lead in them, that's what we're going to start with. But I wanted to show you that the HB pencil is medium soft and dark black in color, where the other pencils, the 1H, the 2H grade pencils, are harder and lighter in the black color. Now, really, all of the lines that we draw on our paper need to be solid black lines. Anytime we have partial lead on the page, it becomes a fuzzy line. So we're always having to press hard and roll, having the correct amount of lead released from your pencil in order not to break it. I know, it's a perfect world. Um, but it does occur quite often once you get used to using your pencils. So what I want to uh, show you is that we have a different kinds of lead that are available for your pencils. This lead has a 0.5 H lead in it, and this one has a, hmm, it's hard to read that, so I'm going to go to this side, it has a 0.5 millimeter lead, and this is a 2H lead. Now I prefer to draw with the 2H, and when I need to make my lines heavier, I go and I use a softer pencil over the line that I've already placed on my page once I know where they belong. So these little tubes are available to purchase if you want to try out different lead types. Um, if you were going to purchase something different this time, then I would say try the 2H and go from there. And I can talk to you more about that. I'm setting those out of the way. So the other day I made this uh, little drawing here using my tools, my um, triangle and my straight edge. I still have this drawing on my sheet because I wanted to explain to you a little bit more about our why we rotate our pencil when we're drawing. And the reason for that is that here I have a regular, you know, your basic pencil. Actually, I know that it is an HB, right? So it's a number two pencil, HB, and I have sharpened this within an inch of its little life. So it has a perfect point on it. Now, this has a point on it because think about how the pencil sharpener works, right? It works creating this kind of um, 
what would I call that shape? A uh, cone shape. So when you get the lead from your pencil, uh, from your 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 excuse me, <laughs> your mechanical pencil, your lead, the end of your lead, and you probably can't see this here as well. Well, let me see if I can make this. Uh, nope. Well, if you were to take a piece of lead out of your case, you would see that the end is flat. So it comes flat. So we are constantly wanting to turn this lead in our pencil so that we can recreate this shape while we're drawing, right? So we always kind of have a sharp end. And if you were to roll your pencil with this pencil, you would see that I would be able to do the same thing. So I'm just gonna take this pencil, I'm gonna roll it away from me, and I'm gonna be able to keep it the same thickness across my paper. So you can do drafting with these pencils. You just constantly have to sharpen them. And that is takes time away. With these mechanical pencils, if you roll them properly, you don't have to take time out of using them. This is another type of drafting pencil. You might have seen these around in your art stores. These are made by, um, now I don't, obviously I'm not purporting to tell you to buy this brand, but these are made by Statler Mars. And they're a very common uh, pencil that you'll see. And I will do my lettering with these pencils because I like a little more meat to my lead <laughs> when I'm um, lettering. Uh, it's just I break a lot of lead and uh, I find it easier to letter with this kind of pencil. But until you have your lettering technique down, I want you to work with the other and then we can play back and forth and see where you land on your comfortability. But I wanted you to really understand why we're turning the pencil because we're trying to maintain that sharp curve and when we first get our our lead pencils and we get this individual lead out of that box we have to keep turning it so we can continue to have what I would call a a straight edge on the pencil so I know I went through a lot of verbiage to explain this to you but um, it's really important to me that you understand why you're doing what you're doing and so that was my little missive on Pencils, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh yes, and here I should show you your mechanical pencil, right? So that's where the lead fits in and that's why we turn it. All right, I'll see you next time around.